Hi, I'm Pastor Sammy, and I'm so glad you've decided to join me again for another special message about this week's Gospel reading. This week, we get back to Matthew's parables, which are stories that Jesus tells to teach us something important about the Kingdom of God. This week, we have the parable of the ten bridesmaids. Now, the bridesmaids are all ready for the groom to arrive. This is an old tradition that bridesmaids would wait for the groom to arrive, and they go into the wedding party together. What they weren't ready for was for the groom to be late. Maybe sometimes we make jokes about the bride being late to the wedding, but this time it was the groom, and not all the bridesmaids were ready. So they waited up late, it got dark, they had to light their lamps and wait, and it got so late they actually fell asleep. Eventually they were woken up, and they uh, relit their lamps to go in, but some of them weren't ready to wait, and so their lamps had run out of oil. Well, I want to talk to you about this scripture passage, but uh, I thought that maybe, like me, you're not too familiar with oil candles and lamps, so I thought I'd show you how they work. And you can actually do this at home too if you'd like. So all you need is some olive oil or vegetable oil like this, a jar, some wire, and some cotton string, or even a cotton ball can work. So I got my string and I actually braided it because mine was really thin. I'm going to show you what it's like without the oil in the lamp. Uh, so I'm just going to light my string. How'd I get? <laughs> Hit my string. There we go. See, it's burning really fast. It's really hot. I can barely hold it. Okay. <laughs> That's as long as I want to hold that. And um, yeah, so. That doesn't really work very well. Just to have a string that lights it burns really fast and really hot. You can't use it to, for light or for heat for very long. Um, you can't do anything else uh, with your hand. A uh, lamp is much better. <laughs> so here's my lamp. I have some olive oil that I filled up and then I got my cotton thread which I braided just because mine was really thin and then I have wire but I didn't have any wire so I used a paper clip so really this is very simple and just made a loop so that it would hold my wick and then I hung it on the edge so it could be suspended in the oil and use my torch to light it match or lighter will work and there we go now this candle will burn it will burn for a good long time much longer than that string um, it could burn for hours actually um, just with this simple cotton wick and oil it's lit like this this is not exactly what those bridesmaids had but it gives you an idea i think and i think that this simple lamp shows us something important about our faith if this flame is kind of like our faith i think this we can talk about this oil as what fuels our faith what keeps that flame going so that we can share the light and the warmth with the world and to enjoy it for ourselves as well. Now, this flame is burning brightly and it will for a long time because of the fuel. So I wonder what fuels your faith? I know for me, it's worship. Worship in person is wonderful, of course, but even at home. Bible study that I can do on, by my own, on my own, but also when I get to talk about those stories with others. Also, prayer, acts of service, ways that other people show me God's love through their love. All of these things fuel my faith. I wonder what fuels yours. I hope you'll have a conversation about that with your family today. But until next time, 